Okay, I'm getting ready to install a carpet. I just bought this, uh, I bought this self-adhesive carpet squares. Uh, it's, it does uh, 22 and a half feet per box, so I bought two boxes. And it cost me about uh, uh, right around 50 bucks. So what I'm doing is I've already cut two pieces here. I haven't put them on yet, but I'm going to get to that in a minute. I got my two uh, tri squares here set to this dimension, which for me is four and three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to lay that on my square. I'm cutting with the lines here, and and then I'm going to mark this edge here as the factory edge. So you can see this piece that I've already got, uh, just the remnant from this one. I've got that marked with the X, so I know which is which edge is factory. So what I do is I set these two tri squares on on each end. Bring my 18 inch ruler up to that. And what I, what I found is you want to make sure when you're cutting and you make one, you, when you get done cutting this thing, you want to be all the way through. You don't want to have to go back and try and find your line again. So you want to make sure this piece just falls away. Good sharp utility knife. A new blade in here. There we go, that's one. So that'll go in here. And I'm going to cut one more. And we'll see how this stuff sticks. factory edge marked here with an X. I'm going to put that next to that piece. I've got four pieces to go down the line. So we'll peel the paper on this first one. Let's see how she goes. Here. Up pretty well. I'm gonna vacuum this up quick here.
we go. Two down. I'll just keep continuing down. I'm going to do all of this on the, on the side first, and then we'll fill in the floor. So I'll come back with the camera after I get uh, all the sides, and it's just going to be the same thing. Four and a half inch cuts, or four and three quarter inch cuts, all the way around, piecing this in, and then I'll come back when I get ready to do the floor. Okay, I've worked my way down to the corner. My initial thought was I was just going to cut two pieces and, and uh, cut a short piece here. This is about three inches, I think. Yeah, a little over three. And cut a little three inch piece and then, and then butt this piece up. But I, I kind of dry fitted this before I took the back off, and it seems to bend fairly easy. So I'm going to put this piece in and tuck it in there using this block I made. So we'll see how this works out. I've got a factory edge here on this piece, and I've got that factory edge going down. So let's see what happens here. I know one thing for sure, I want to get this, this started first. That seam if I can. Keep pushing it against that. So I'll just take this piece and wrap this around the corner and then go up the other side. So you can see now if my box wasn't in the way. I'm almost right dead center and I'll just take that next piece and wrap that corner the same way and then come up this side with the rest of the carpet. Okay, perimeter is done. Uh, what I've got to do here is I've got to, because my, my leftover pieces are not wide enough to use one of those and a full piece to fill this gap. So I've got to take two pieces, two new pieces, fill this gap, and then work my way up. And I've got two pieces up there set aside for that, for that end as well. So I'm going to cut these around this climate adjuster opening and have, uh, have this whole end covered. And then start with my half pieces going up the edge. Now, somewhere, I had a piece cut. Here it is. This represents the width of the table, the shuffleboard playing surface itself. So you can see that that's going to be in there like that. I'm going to have about three inches on either side of it and five to, five to six on each end. So that's why I want to be, because the table is just going to rest right on this carpet. So I want to get this so I have a full supporting surface all the way around here. 
Then the other thing I've got to be concerned about is where my table legs, uh, bolt holes are. I'm going to have to mark and cut those out so I have access to those. And uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll work on this and then start working my way up. The one thing I wanted to mention was I don't want to have these seams match up with these seams right here. So that's why I'm starting on this end because it gives me about a four inch, four inch overlap on this side and about uh, three inches on this side. If I were to start up on that end, I'd be matching up uh, all the way down on this side. So this way I'm a little bit staggered. And what I did with this with these two pieces is I laid them in here, tucked them in a little bit tight, and went underneath with my marker, and marked this opening, and I just freehand cut this piece like I did this one. So that will sit in there like that. And then this one will match up to it after I get it cut out here. and cut it probably a quarter inch long. Let's go seven and three quarter. out. It's definitely long. I will take that quarter of an inch off. that'll be okay. It's got a little puff to it, but I think that'll lay down pretty nicely. I'm going to put in the, uh, I'm going to put in the little piece first. I guess. First I'm going to vacuum this out, actually. I'll get the vacuum in here and get all these fibers out of here.
little piece in first. I think it'll be a big piece of the a little more forgiving when it comes to flattening it out. Good. So now I'll just go up the, up the sides with these uh, these half pieces with my factory edge to the outside, and then uh, I'll start cutting those up to get to, to that in there. Far so good. Oh, you didn't get to see any of that. My vacuum bumped the bump the uh, stand there. Sorry, my tripod. Put in the small piece first, then the large piece, but they both lay down very well. This this piece being just a hair larger than, than a nice fit, like if you're fitting a piece of wood, I guess, but it turned out nice. So I'll just keep moving on with the with the sides here. Factory edge to the outside. Same thing on that side. And I don't have to worry about the middle because, like I said, this is the width of my my, block, my uh, playing surface. So I'll have that well covered. You can see there. And if I end up with some scrap pieces, I would maybe we'll run those down the center just to fill in the spots wherever I can. But it is looking quite nice. I need to have some pieces left over too for my uh, my adjusters. Those are ready for carpet as well. Okay, I'm getting uh, ready to figure out where these holes are going to go for my legs. So I've got two marked. What I'm doing is I'm taking my scratch all. I'm locating the hole underneath here. 
And I'm not really too concerned whether I'm right in the middle or not, but I'm in it. And I bring that up through the, through the carpet. You gotta be careful here. Right there. There it is. All right, so that, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the point of my scratch all. I'm just taking my marker and dyeing the carpet black around that where that hole would be. And that's where I got to cut my my holes for the washers and the bolts. So I'm going to need I'm going to cut myself a little J or a little square here. Probably one and a half or one and a quarter by one and a quarter that I can lay on there and cut around with my knife. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, got this thing ready to go. I'm going to see how it works if I cut from the top here. Push that press down and think about it. I think I might just cut three sides like that, just make it a flap. This one I'll just throw in there like that. I won't and then I won't take the backing off of this piece. I won't take the backing off of that. And next time I won't make the black mark so large. piece. I'm going to figure out if I got an extra piece or not. If I do, I'm going to, I'm going to redo that. What I'll do is just locate my hole with the, with the scratch all. I'll just come up through like this. I'll put my board over it, make my cut, and then I won't have any mark at all. Let me count my pieces and see where I'm at. I had more than enough pieces here, so I recut this one and 
I'll use this someplace else, maybe down the middle, but uh, made my little doors here. They line up perfectly. And what I did was I just took my knife and I scribed this paper on the back. And uh, now I'm just going to pull this. Paper stay put, and I got three holes right there. There's my access to my bolts. There's my other hole. There it is. All right, it just blends right in there. That'd be easy enough to find. I can just take a pencil and stick it up through the bottom and push it open. So. Looking good. This is a full piece here, except for the climate adjuster. So I'll make my cutout mark here. All right, got her all carpeted. She looks good. And now I want to show you how I'm going to put those carpet pads on the bottom of my level adjusters. So let me take the camera over to the ultimate work table here.